Get a head start on your next trophy buck. Order stand placement advanced techniques today at Closing the Distance. Hi, I'm Matt Moore, and welcome to this week's Closing the Distance. We have a really busy show today. Four whitetail bow hunts to share with you. Some big deer. Let's get started. Closing the Distance is brought to you by Ozonics. Undetectable, undeniable. Hunter Safety System, dedicated to saving hunters' lives. Executioner Broadheads, born to kill. Treason, don't just blend, become and by Citadel, revolutionary shoot-down shape. After the break, we're chasing big Texas bucks. Stay around for this. Closing the Distance will be right back. Closing the Distance is made possible by Tree Limb Quivers. There's only one Tree Limb Quiver. Sword Sights, Sharp Solutions in Aiming, Elusive Wildlife Technologies, Taking the Elusive Out of Wildlife, The Stage Deer Attractant, Finally, a synthetic scent that works. Matthews Archery. And by the amazing Luminot. Can your arrow not do this? Oh man. What a morning. I know that that buck could not have gone far with the way I hammered him. And this ground blind did perfect. They looked at us a little bit, but they didn't panic or freak out. And they definitely didn't wind us. And I know that because we had Ozonics with us. Two Ozonics. In fact, And this is the ticket right here. That's awesome, man. Did great. <clears throat> there we go. It's perfect. Let's go find our buck. I worked out great. I know it's dark in there, but that's what you want. Those deer kind of looked at it a little bit, but they weren't sure what we were, and they sure didn't smell us. And my arrow is somewhere over here. I mean, when I shot him, he was pretty close. <laughs> it looked like I got a complete pass through. Oh, yeah, there's blood on it. Not a ton, but hey, there's dew all over the ground. I, mean, I know I made a good shot and hammered him, but it's always good to get your arrow back. Let's keep progressing this way. I saw him, I saw him go. There's a big creek, there's a drainage. I don't know, 70 yards up there. And I saw him go right through that. So that's the last place I saw him. I thought he was actually falling. That's him, buddy, that's him. Look, you can barely see him. He's like, it looks like a rock. That's the deer. That's the buck right there, man. Come on. That's him right there. Oh, baby. I see the rack sticking up. He didn't go nowhere. I hammered him. I knew I hammered him. Whoa, look at this. Look at this buck. Wow, he's bloody. Look at this rack, folks. Oh my gosh, look at this thing. Look at this big bruiser of a buck right here. Oh, look at that. 
Look at that weird point. It's like a double acorn point right there. And look, we saw this, we knew this. He has a weird point on this side from being injured in velvet or an injury. We think he had a leg injury in the past and it just grew weird like that. Last year, he only had half a rack. Yeah, but look at this, man. That's a mature buck though. That's all I know. He's mature and he's got a huge frame. Look at that. Look at this side right here. Whew, is that incredible? Wow. Just the way this hunt played out this morning. We had so many deer and so much activity in this buck and that beautiful eight point were pushing each other around. They were trying to decide who's, who's in charge. Man, I know we got some great footage. That was an exciting sit and this was the buck I was after. And we got him. We accomplished it. Those deer didn't know that we were there. And I have all that activity that we had this morning and for those deer to not know we were there and not smell us was the key. I gotta thank Ozonix for that. But hey, I mean Matthews Halon did a great job. The arrow flew true and I hammered him. He maybe ran 70 yards, piled up in the creek. Wasn't any problem finding him. I'm proud of that. Coming up, more whitetail hunts in West Texas. We'll be right back. Don't go on your next hunt without knowing why you might miss. Get your free copy of Shot Placement 101 today. Details at ClosingTheDistance.com. Closing the Distance is brought to you by Ozonix. Undetectable, undeniable. Hunter Safety System, dedicated to saving hunters' lives. Executioner Broadhead, born to kill. Treason, don't just blend, become. And by Citadel, revolutionary shoot down shape. Oh man, I see blood already. Oh wow, there's blood everywhere. Yeah, piece of. What the is? Is that right there? They tore him up, man. Blood all over there. Right there. Oh yeah, look at that. There's blood sprayed the cactus on that side right there. There's some over here. Starting to open up a little bit more. Look at the blood out there. That's insane. Oh my gosh. Look at the faces on this brute. That's incredible. They're like Coke cans. <laughs> what a beast. I have never seen faces like that. So heavy. Look at that crazy point. What a toad. That is so cool looking. What a pretty deer. He's got a huge body. Wow, man, that broadhead tore him up. Oh my gosh. Oh, let's get this thing out and clean him up so we can get a better look at him. Oh man, I'm fired up. Hey, we cleaned him up and look what we got here. Heck of a deer. He's got coke, coke can sized bases. Never seen that. Strange point coming out of his main beam underneath his underneath his main beam where it turns crazy. I've never seen that before. Huge, huge bases. His body is freakishly big. Um, just incredible deer. I have no idea the age on this deer, but I'll tell you what, he is one of the heaviest bodied animals I've seen on the hook. Man, what a stud. Look at that rack. <laughs> That's crazy. 
Look at all his masks and his faces. They're unreal. Very, very cool. Man, we reviewed the footage. The shot looked high. I was just, hey, I was excited. I was rattled. I had drawn back once on that buck and almost had him and he turned his butt to me, started walking away and I just had to let down. So it was nerve wracking. But, you know, hey, we're still gonna go out there. We, we gave the buck about an hour or so, maybe an hour and 20 minutes since I shot. I see my arrow, we're gonna go look at the arrow, see what kind of blood's on it. Chad and I have been through this before where I've shot a deer high, clipped a spine or either high lung or something, and we find the deer. So I'm not giving up, you never know. There's so many variables in bow hunting, but we're gonna go look at my arrow. We'll see if there's a good sign on it, see if we can find some blood. Here's my arrow. I tell you what, look at this. There's a lot of blood on this arrow. Huh. That's 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 good blood. I mean it's been sitting for a while. So it's pretty dry. That's a lot of blood on the arrow. Hey, look, there's blood right here, man. Chad, look, that's a good amount of blood right there. It's a good sign, we'll just keep progressing that way. I mean, look, after the shot, when we reviewed the footage especially, I could see that he went around this tree and hooked to the left. There's a ravine right down there. I don't know, man. Okay, okay. We'll progress that way. Air on the side of caution. We'll just go easy. I see a little bit of blood up here. He is down, baby. I can't believe it. That's him. Chad. He's freaking huge, man. Just like we thought. Yes! And I tell you what, he only ran maybe 70 yards after the shot. I can't believe this. I cannot believe. This does not seem real right now. I can see right here now on his back. It definitely clipped something. There's a hole over here and there's blood flowing big time. We'll take a look at that in a little bit. Look at this buck. Look at the G2s and threes on this deer. I knew that. I had an encounter with this buck maybe three weeks ago, and it didn't happen for me. I couldn't get on him. Let me tell you, this buck has got me some kind of nervous and rattled, and this morning I was shook up. I drew on him. He couldn't get the shot. He came in a little bit earlier. We didn't have enough filming light, and fortunately enough, he just wanted to dive his nose and put his face in the buck oil and the corn. and munch away man i mean that's what what did it that and the ozonics on this hunt <clears throat> i mean we're not even hunting the right wind but we didn't have a choice this is where the buck was coming we pulled the cards when we got here on this trip two days ago and this is the only setup that this buck was even coming by so we had to sit there with a bad wind <laughs> and ozonics worked for us great man in the ground line and hey it's only 33 degrees right now it's it's cold but as you saw the deer were on their feet this buck couldn't take it he had to come over there and push some other deer out of the out of the corn and the buckle 
and he put his face right in it. After the break, one more bow hunt to highlight. Closing the distance will be right back. Get a head start on your next trophy buck. Order stand placement advanced techniques today at Closing the Distance. Closing the Distance is made possible by Tree Limb Quivers. There's only one Tree Limb Quiver. Sword Sights, Sharp Solutions in Aiming, Elusive Wildlife Technologies, Taking the Elusive Out of Wildlife, The Stage Deer Attractant, Finally, a synthetic scent that works. Matthews Archery. And by the amazing Luminot. Can your arrow not do this? Hey, that's the perfect end to a perfect day. Gorgeous, gorgeous evening. Last hunt of this year for me. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, that's a good sign. It's uh, lots and lots of blood on there. That's what you want to see right there. Got a good blood trail. You can see sprays everywhere. Right there on that cactus. Much more blood. Here, okay, he crashed through here. There's more blood sprayed on that cactus. Oh my gosh, look at this. He must have stopped for a second right here. There's blood all over that rock. Now well, he's gotta be down somewhere here about 20 yards or less. Yeah, he's really starting to open up now. Oh, there he is, right there. <laughs> oh man, wow, look at that. That is a nice deer, wow. Oh man. Whoo! <laughs> Looky there. Man, he's a wide little sucker. Wow, he's got good mass, good width. Way wider than I than I thought. He broke that brow tie right there. Fighting. Man, that is a big mature animal. This guy is, as far as I know the most dominant buck in this area. And it's easy to tell why. You got just a really muscled out body. Mm. Awesome. Yeah, he's pretty dear. Man, that was exciting. <laughs> About that for an eight pointer, huh? Hey, not good, not good as one Scott got this year. That thing was a monster. But hey, I'm glad to take him home. And tonight, Tonight. Let's go get the ranger. This thing cleaned up.
I don't know any hunter that goes to the woods that doesn't want to be successful. Now I know, I love to sit in a tree and I love to see the sunrise, I love to see the sunset. And yes, there is something beautiful in and of itself, just about the hunt uh, itself. But again, uh, nobody goes to the woods that doesn't desire and want to be successful. And I think one of the foundations to do that is to be a better woodsman, right? It, it all starts with good woodsmanship. Knowing the animal, knowing the land, knowing the, the layout, knowing where they love to bed, knowing where they love to feed, and then learning how to set up on those animals there. There is a key and there is a foundation. But it, I think it's also true that there is a key and a foundation to be successful in life. I think everybody wants to have a successful marriage and a successful family, maybe a successful business, whatever it may be. But did you know the Bible says there is also a foundation that we have to be aware of? In Matthew chapter 6 and verse 33, the Bible says that when we seek God first, that all of these other things will be added unto us. The Bible makes it clear to us that the key to a successful life on any level, whether it be our, our marriage or our families or just the peace that we have in our heart, begins with putting God first in our life. When we seek Him above everything else, God has this way of putting everything in priority and perspective in our life, and we really begin to achieve and experience the things that we've always longed for and desired. If you'd like to know more about a personal relationship with God through His Son, Jesus Christ, just go to ClosingTheDistance.com and click on the Moment of Truth tab.